And welcome here to our first top 25 of the year, this one for September. We're three weeks down. We're going to show you the best highlights from the year. And check out some blocking to kick us off here. Lewis White and darting around. And look at the block that he gets from behind. Gives him a little bit more room. And he gets out of bounds. That kicks us off here for the top 25. Number 24, the South City Chiefs taking on the Port Adelaide Spartans. And this is a nice catch on the sideline. Watch Oli Edwards here. Gets a lot of room. And he has to keep his feet in bounds here. Does well to track it. And that's going to be a big first down for the Chiefs. Eagles now taking on the Oilers. And Nathan Hellman. This has just been really indicative of what he has done all year so far. A huge sack. And takes down Ben Stevens. Good show of sportsmanship as well. Helps him up. Now on to 22. And the Spartans taking on the Oilers here in round one. And then Stevens returns the favour. And gets a sack of his own. A big blind sign hit on Ryan Hassel. Number 21. Gets it to the outside and Caritas now. Gets to show off some wheels. Look at him go down the sidelines. Nobody can get near him. Almost gets pushed out of bounds and tiptoes his way in for a monster score here. This is what got them almost back into the game against the Spartans in round three. They ended up falling short in that one. But a good play nonetheless from one of the young receivers. Number 20. Lewis White and drops back. Sends this one deep. And guess who? Tom Seeger. He has been there all year. And a terrific rookie campaign from him so far. Been a terrific deep threat for the Eagles. Number 19. And now, the first one we're going to see of AU. There's plenty of these highlights. And there's plenty also from this man, Nick Ward. This is an indication of the sort of thing you get to see from him. If this is 19 on our list. A deep ball there from Nick Bazinski lawrence here in round one. And he moves it along. Number 18. AU taking on the Oilers. And here's Nick Ward again. And this time he shows you incredible speed because he simply just rolls down the outside. No Oiler can catch him. And once again just waltzes into the end zone. A sight that we've become used to seeing. And an unbelievable play. He caught that in the flats for goodness sake. And he is gone. Number 17. And this time it's going to be the Eagles here. White and drops back. Looks to the outside, and guess who's going to come in? It's going to be Nick Ward. Big hit. Takes out Lewis Whiten and makes him realize here that not going out of the pocket is probably the smartest option when he is roaming around. And it's becoming the Nick Ward show here, but this one isn't Nick Ward. We can promise you that. It's going to be Andre Benjamin down the sidelines. Takes the initial catch, gets knocked out. Terrific concentration. And manages to pull it in. The Eagles want it out of bounds. They're not going to get it. Terrific play from Andre Benjamin. Moves the chains for the Chiefs. Number 15 here. And the Eagles taking on the Oilers. Hands this off to Ian Nolte. And he was terrific in this match. And this is just one of many runs he manages to break out. And that just looked absolutely effortless. Got good blocking up front. And he did the rest. And no Oiler could get near him on that occasion. Number 14. Round 1. We're back here again. Oilers and the Spartans. And this was a clinical play that could have not have come at a better time for the Spartans. They were down by eight points, and they'd been trailing for most of the second half. And then Aaron Dixon runs it in and ties the scores up, and that would eventually finish this match in a draw, but a huge play in the fourth quarter to get them into that one. Number 13. Now some more blocking. Check out John Seve here just in front of the punt returner. One massive block. And keep an eye on him because he's going to keep going and gets another one as well. Terrific play on special teams. Michael Leaves was down for a little while, but he ends up being all right. Number 12. Same game. Rob West McGinnis drops back, and Tamani Seve picks it off up the middle. And the big brother taking this one to the house. And the Eagles. This was a romp in the end. 64 to nothing. And that was the final score of that one. But a good show there from the Eagles' defense, and especially from Tamani Seve as well. He's looking for another big year. Now for the Chiefs and Eagles. Francisco under a lot of pressure, flicks it up the middle, somehow taken by Butler, and then Leroy White and stops him dead in his tracks on the line. A great offense and defensive play combined in that one. And now we're rolling into the top 10. And of course, this was going to make it. This was how the Spartans opened the scoring. Hits the line, falls straight to Forby, and he's gone. And he is going to have too much pace to be caught, and the Spartans. In this game here, they were actually looking at a little bit of danger. That field goal was almost going to give the Chiefs the first score of the game. And Simon Forby runs it back. He's having a terrific year so far. Playing terrifically in the corner slot. And as well on special teams as well. Number nine, same game. Hassel drops back up the middle. Johnston is going to pierce the gap. And he is gone as well. 
And this was the second score of that match. And the Spartans, they rolled on to a big win in this one. And this was a really important win for them as well to get them back on track to start their season. Number eight, Eagles and Adelaide Uni. And now we're starting to get into some of the deep bombs because that's Tom Seeger again. And this is what he's been doing all season. And he beats two. And he has incredible pace to get in out the back. And he's been one of the main targets here for the Eagles at the start of their season. And a massive play for them against AU. That was a great game to watch. Number seven. Check out this defensive play here. Prince Coleman's just come in for this week and he's already made a huge difference. Strips the ball. Jackman Evans takes it back to the house. And that was how the Spartans finished off that one. The terrific defensive play and it really shows that the Spartans are back to their defensive ways from a couple years back. Now number six. And we haven't seen too many special teams plays returns for touchdowns. And Prince Coleman's going to help us out with that. Gets great blocking, gets to the outside, and he is going to be untouched. Rolling all the way down the sideline. And a terrific special teams touchdown there for the Spartans. And now we're getting serious, top five. Same game again, this one had plenty of highlights. Check this out. Francisco gets to the outside, flicks it over to Butler, and Dixon just lays him out. The pass is ruled incomplete in the end. Doesn't particularly matter when you can hit someone like that. Good, clean, hard hit. Great play on the defense. Number four, Bazinski Lawrence. This was the first time we got to see Nick Ward out the back, and this is an even bigger play. Leaves the Eagles in his dust, and he just waltzes in for another big touchdown. And he is proving that he is going to be a huge threat all year. Number three, Chiefs and Eagles. Whiten drops back, and he's going to go deep. And this was the first thing we got to see of Seeker as well. He gets out the back, and another huge touchdown, unable to be stopped by the corner. And a huge play on the bomb, but check this one out. Number two, you don't need to pass it very far for Nick Ward to score from distance. Look at what he does from in the flat. The Oilers all coming from all directions to try to stop him. He gets good blocking, but look at the speed he has down the sidelines. He is gone. A huge play. 75 yards from a simple throw in the flats. And AU rolls on in that match. They win that one 54 to nothing here. But the number one play. AU and the Eagles. Bozinski Lawrence drops back. This is a floater. But look what happens in double coverage. Barrington just snatches it from behind. Falls his way into the end zone. This was a huge touchdown as well. Ended up putting them right back in this contest just before half time. A huge play from Barrington, and that will be your top 25 for September.